Blanchette plays Lydia Tarr, a gifted maestro who's also an insufferable narcissist, an arrogant monster whose abusive behavior damages the lives of more than one of the other characters. I'm not saying that a good movie can't be made about an evil character. What I'm saying is that spending two hours and 38 minutes watching this particularly toxic person made me angry, anxious, and eager to leave the theater. In 2013, Berlin elected Tarr as its principal conductor. As composer and conductor Lydia Tarr, Kate Blanchett is superb. But she's used to challenges. Among her many parts, Blanchett has been a queen, an elf, the young Kate Hepburn, and she's even played Bob Dylan. For Tar, she had to learn how to conduct, to skillfully play the piano, and to speak German to her musicians. Time is, is the essential piece of uh, interpretation. You cannot start without me. See, I start the clock. You know, my left hand, shapes, but my right hand, the second hand, marks time. What a shame that Tar isn't a better movie. Cutting out an hour would have made it less tedious and more audience friendly. I knew Tar would be self-indulgent from the start, when the director makes the audience sit through almost five minutes of printed credits before we ever get to see the first scene. The first scene is a 15 minutes long real-time interview on stage in front of an audience. If you know classical music, you should be able to understand what she says, but others will likely be left shaking their heads. The plot, such as it is, takes about an hour to really get started, and we never even get to meet one of the most important victims of Tar's abusive behavior. The video released for television is limited and includes no real dialogue at all, and almost half of the shots in the trailers don't appear in the film. Tar may well strain your patience. Terry Hunter, Hawaii News Now.